Hey, happy Thanksgiving for those of you who celebrated. If not, I hope your Thursday has been awesome. Um, it's been kind of a weird day. Didn't quite go the way I thought it would. Um, one thing I did do today, I, uh, I got all the kids' presents out of the closet and I, I sorted them. And so I have five kids' presents and I, I cut my thumb on the damn uh, can of cat food and it, it was like the little individual plastics serving of wet food and somehow the lid is made out of aluminum foil and it had a really sharp edge on it apparently because when I, somehow when I went to pull it back it cut my thumb like really bad there's a half inch cut on my thumb from that stupid foil I was so mad that was first thing this morning like really and it bled I bled like a stuck pig I've never bled so much from a tiny little cut but you know when you cut you know get cut with something sharp it really it can be really bad so, um, and it doesn't hurt. A lot of times it doesn't hurt. And, uh, and God, it's just, bleh. Anyway, so I have a tiny, tiny bandage, a little bandaid on my thumb. But I, I decided I would go ahead and pull everything out of my closet because I couldn't move. Like, I couldn't get in there. And I still have their stocking stuff in there, but I could not get in there and get anything. So I brought it all out. So what we're going to, on my other channel, what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to do a show and tell video of the two girls' presents, the set the five and the nine year old. I'm going to show you all of those so I can at least go ahead and get all of those like downstairs and put somewhere. But right now we're bringing down Christmas stuff. So I have my whole house is just chaos right now. I just have stuff everywhere. Check out this necklace though that I found at Goodwill. Isn't that pretty? It was $3. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. I love it. I mean, it's just costume jewelry, but I just think it's fabulous. I think it's so pretty. I wasn't dressed like this all day. I wore my green my green Reebok sweatshirt that my son bought me. I wore that all day. Um, so, but now my bedroom is full of stuff. Look at this. Okay. I'm getting set up to do the show and tell, but I have everything sorted. So this is for the five-year-old. She made out like a bandit. I didn't realize <clears throat> I didn't realize I had so much for her. But apparently I did. I tried to keep everything even, like get the same amount of stuff for all the kids. The five-year-old, I think, did the best. <laughs> she got a bunch of stuff. So there's her stuff. Here is the um, one of the boys, either the, that's the seven-year-old. Maybe that's the seven-year-old. I don't know. Got all that. Um, it's kind of hard to see what all is here, but you're going to see it when I do the video. There's the other boy's stuff. Over here, I have the five-year-old stuff, and it's all just piled together. His stuff, uh, oh, he's got some more stuff back there in that bag. Um, and then the, this is the nine-year-old girl's stuff. And I think I'm going to start with her. Should I start with her? I kind of, I kind of feel like I should start with a five-year-old, but see, I've already got all of her stuff up there. So I'm probably going to start with her just, you know, because, but yeah, ugh. God, there is just, there, there is stuff in here everywhere on the floor, floor, and it is, it is making me a little crazy. Like, I come in here, and I feel anxious, and I just, it's making me wiggy, so I kind of want to get it, like, out of here. <laughs> so, there's her coat, and one of the boys' coats has not come yet. Hopefully, it will arrive tomorrow, and I'm also waiting for a scooter. He wanted a scooter, and I ordered him one on Amazon, and it's supposed to come tomorrow. So hopefully it will. And so what I'm thinking about doing is tomorrow do a video of the boys, these two boys stuff, showing this stuff. And then after that, I have all the wrapping paper over there. And then I will do, I may do something a little different with this one where I like show you everything and then show you, and then we'll wrap it in the same video. I don't know. I, he may just be like his own video, like just all of that together. Who it's God. It's it, it is a lot of work. I mean, it, it's, I'm tired. I am so tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Plus we've been uh, bringing down Christmas stuff too. And uh, yeah, let me tell you about how, uh, how the day went. I just realized I don't have my lipstick on yet. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to get that. But, uh, and my nose is runny. Somebody mentioned in that video where I was doing my makeup that I, it looked like, you know, it looks like my nose is red. Honey, I appreciate the tips, um, and I do have a lot. There's rosacea that runs in my dad's family, and I use prosacea sometimes if I feel like I'm getting redness on me. The reason my nose has looked, reason I look like Rudolph is because I'm blow, I'm still blowing my nose like 20 times a day, 
And even though I use the puffs with the lotion in them, my nose is very irritated and it's been like that now for like three weeks. My nose is just constantly runny. The cough, thank goodness, is pretty much gone. I still cough some, but not like I was. Um, I just cannot get rid of this runny nose. I don't know. So the reason my nose look, honestly, the reason my nose looked red in that video was because I had to blow it like three times within the hour before I made that video. It's just, it's just constantly runny. So I'm having to blow my nose all the time. So I appreciate the tips, but it's not, you know, it's not rosacea that was that's causing it right now. It's just my damn nose won't stop running. So I'm going to try to blow it again before I make this video and I have to turn the heat down so it doesn't come on. I was just downstairs and I forgot to do that. I'm going to have to go back down there again. Sometimes by the time I get set up to do a video, I'm just freaking worn out. Like uh, there's a lot, there's a lot I have to do that you don't see. Okay, so we did get some stuff down out of the attic. We sort of made a half-ass attempt at it. We're gonna get the we're gonna get the big stuff down tomorrow. Like we got to get the trees down. We got to take the Papa San chair up there and put it up. Yeah, the heat just came on. Um, I'm gonna try to get the trees decorated tomorrow. I'm not gonna make a video of that. Um, and I, I'm glad people want to see stuff like that. But honestly. For some stuff, making a video of it kind of takes a lot of the fun out of it for me because it's just not, the, you don't get the flow to it. And I have this, when I decorate the trees, it's almost like I get into this rhythm and I get, you know, and I want to back up and look at it and I talk to myself a lot and I move things around and, and I, I enjoy every minute of it. I thoroughly enjoy it. But if I'm trying to make a video at the same time, it just, it, it breaks that. Like, I don't ever get there. I don't ever get into that little trance, that little rhythm. And I just don't enjoy it as much. And I really want to enjoy it this year. I'm definitely going to show you the trees when it's done. I will show you, and I might even make, I'll tell you what I will do for y'all. I'll make a little video showing y'all everything before I decorate. And then I'll show, y'all get to see first the trees after I decorate them. But there, I think there was one year where I made a video decorating the tree. And it just... It just wasn't as fun, honestly. I was just, I felt like I got cheated out of something. And I know I sound like I'm being whiny, but I just, I, I look forward to it so much every year. And trying to make a video while I do it just kind of messes that up a little bit. And, and I want to enjoy it. So, and people ask, do your kids help decorate? No, they have no interest in it at all. They don't care. Um, when I get done, they will usually look at it and go, isn't that a bit much? And I say, yes, that's the point. Of course it's a bit much. I want it to be a lot much. Do I need to add more? Because I can go get some more stuff and add it like, no, please don't. They don't care. They have zero interest in it. So I'm used to it though, because all my life, except when Glenda the Good Witch and I were married, that was actually really cool. He loved decorating as much as I do. And he would always enjoy the process and we could enjoy it together and it was so nice. Um, those that was those are really happy memories for me and, and uh, yeah, we still talk about it. So um, he had a good a good Thanksgiving. He spent it with his family. They had lunch, Thanksgiving lunch this afternoon at like one o'clock. He said it was really good and then he went home and he's been doing some painting. He's been repainting a couple of bedrooms in his house and he went home and worked on that afterwards. So. He said it was a good day. He's happy as long as he's being productive. So we're, we're very much alike in that way. Neither one of us is very good at just sitting around doing nothing. Like we feel like we need to be making forward progress on something all the time. It's, it's a blessing and a curse, honestly. But okay, so whew, tomorrow's gonna be a busy day. I do have, um, I, did I tell you what I did? I don't think I told you what I did yesterday. No, that was yesterday. Am I the only one that the week of Thanksgiving, you don't even know what day it is most of the time? Like, it feels like it's no particular day of the week. And yesterday was like that big time. Like, I could not, stop it. Boots in here trying to chew on a cord. I could not figure out what day it was. I can't, it felt like a Saturday, then it would feel like a Sunday. Then I'm like, I don't know what day it is anymore. So I was supposed to go to a class last night. Well, I ended up going out and doing a bunch of shopping for the, the fifth angel, the bonus angel. I got all of his stuff. Um, I have spent about, well, the five-year-old I spent more, I think. 
Um, although the five-year-old stuff, it looks like she got a lot more, but it's not necessarily, money-wise, it's probably about the same amount. Because um, a lot of the stuff she has was not that expensive, honestly. So actually, I'm just sitting here looking and doing a little math in my head, and actually, it looks like a lot more than what it actually is. The good thing is, all these kids are in different homes, so they're not going to see what the other one's got, so there's not going to be any comparison. But I spent about $250 per kid. So it's like a, wow, yeah. <laughs> it, yeah, it was a, what, at least 200 per kid. And uh, so, but I went out shopping yesterday for the bonus angel and I got all of his stuff. The only thing I couldn't find was a coat and I, st I still need, I'm gonna get him a coat even though they didn't say he needed one. I, everybody gets a coat. I'm gonna make that my rule. Everybody gets a coat, whether they need it or not. Everybody's getting a coat, socks and underwear. Whether you want them or not, you get, you get them from me. Uh, I did the same thing for my kids. <laughs> I would if they would wear a damn coat. My older son will wear a coat. He actually found this nice long uh, coat that he likes. Anyway, my, my younger son will not wear a damn coat. He just won't. No. Fine. Freeze to death. Um, shit, what was I saying? Oh, I'm going to go to Costco because they actually have a lot of really nice coats. I'm going to go. I'm going to go pick up a coat for him to go with his stuff and hopefully his scooter will come tomorrow it's supposed to come tomorrow so then i will have everything for him and i'm still waiting for somebody's coat one of the other boys their coat is not here yet but hopefully it will arrive tomorrow if not i will just do a show and tell without it you know you'll see it when i wrap it i i you know i don't know i think everything else is here i think everything else has arrived but anyway so i went shopping for him and which was not something i originally planned to do yesterday but I thought, let's go, let's go do it. Let's go get all of his stuff. So I went shopping and I ended up being gone for quite a while. I didn't get back home until about 4.30 yesterday afternoon. And I was, I was starving. I was hungry. I hadn't had anything to eat. I totally missed lunch yesterday and it was about 4.30 and I was really hungry. So, and I was really tired. Like, I'm just so tired. Like, I need a, a power nap. I need something to eat and I need like a 20 minute nap and I'll be good. Well, I ate something and then I laid down and I got comfortable and I just zonked out. I mean, I just, I just, I was out. I completely just zonked out. And I didn't wake up until like 5.30. And, uh, and I woke up and I was so confused. You ever just, what, you ever fall asleep and you wake up and you're, you panic? Like, why was I asleep? What have I missed? I don't think I was, was I supposed to be, I don't think I was supposed to be asleep right now. What did I miss? I, oh God, oh, what time is it? <gasps> what day is it? What year is it? I don't know. And then I, I, I remembered my son, my younger son, my older son was at work, but my younger son had said, mom, can, can you go pick up some spicy chicken nuggets at Wendy's? Uh, and, and so he reminded me when I woke up, can we, can you, can we do that? I'll ride with you. And he did. And so by the time we got out of here, we didn't get out of here, so I, ha I got up and did odds and ends like you do. I don't know. We got out of here to go to Wendy's about 6 o'clock. And so I'm sitting in, and the drive-thru was a mile long, and it wasn't moving. And we're sitting in the drive-thru, and I started thinking, why do I feel like there was something I was supposed to do? I feel like there was something... And I looked at the clock on my in, on the little display in my car, and I, and at this point, it was like... 6.15, 6.20, I don't know. And I thought, oh, I'm supposed to be in class right now. Holy shit, I totally forgot. I totally forgot. How did I forget that? Oh, damn. And I felt so, I was, I felt stupid. I was mad at myself. And I, I was telling my son, like, I'm supposed to be, I'm, I'm not even supposed to be here right now. I'm supposed to be in class. What, boo? What is it? What's the matter? Boop's in here and she's, she's mad because I haven't given her her evening treat yet and she's pissed at me so she's like, so when she gets frustrated she starts trying to dig in drawers and get under things and get in things and chews on stuff and she just, I'll have to, I'll have to throw her out of here in a minute. You can't get in there. She is the naughtiest cat I've ever had. She's always up to something. Just all, all the time. She's like a little toddler. She's got to get into stuff and do, stop it. Don't. She's trying to get into my little nightstand drawer. She's trying to pull it open. 
anyway. So I'm so mad at myself like, I was supposed to go to class tonight. I'm supposed to be there right now. <clears throat> and he said, Mom, it's okay. It's okay. I thought, how did this happen? You know how this happened? It happened because I don't know what damn day it is anymore. I don't know. It felt like a day that I didn't have a class. I don't know why. I don't know why that is. I just, I, in my mind, I didn't have anywhere I had to be. So the fact that I zomped out wasn't a big deal. And then I, and then, you know how like you're trying to think, there's something I was supposed to remember. Right, my son said he wanted to go get nuggets at Wendy's. That was probably what I was trying to remember. Yeah, we better go do that. So we were sitting in the drive-thru like, damn it. I'm not supposed to be here. I haven't, I've done that before. I've only done that like one other time. And it was about two years ago. Same thing. I was supposed to go to a class one evening and I, I, something happened and it broke my concentration and it kind of changed the course of my day and I just forgot. I just forgot. I, I was so pissed at myself and I'm still kind of mad. I'm going, I'm getting back at it tomorrow. I'm going to class. I'm going to a class tomorrow. So get right back at it. So, uh, yeah, but I feel, I feel really, what? She's pissed because I haven't given her her treat. Because see, when I get ready to do a video, I, we do bathroom treats and it sounds weird, but she, she actually loves it. So I put her in the bathroom downstairs with a handful of like uh, cat treats. She eats the treats and then she gets in the cabinet in, the, in there and goes to sleep. That's bathroom treats. She loves it. She gets so excited for bathroom treats, but it keeps her from coming up here and yelling at me. We've been doing it since she was a little bitty. She's been doing it all her life. She loves it. Don't chew on that. It is like having a toddler in here. My younger son was like that. He chewed on everything. He just wanted to he just wanted to taste everything. My older son didn't really do that, but my younger son just put everything in his mouth. Just everything. I really had to watch him. My younger son and my older son never really did that though. Huh? She's about to jump up on the You gonna jump up? What are you doing? No, she's coming back. She's mad. She does the sad meow when she's frustrated. You can't get up there. You know? Look at this. God darn, my room is nasty. I can't stand it. What are you doing, boo? Watch her. You gonna go for it? Look at her parkour. Boing! Good girl. Now what? Where'd you go? Kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. I see your tail. Well, I did see your tail. I don't see it now. My son's room is right here. He waits until I make a video, and then and then and then he's in there like juggling shit or something. I don't know. Cat, where'd you go? Boo. But yeah, hopefully I can get these show and tails done and I can get all all this uh put away. I, I don't like all this mess in here. But anyway, we did get we did get the nuggets and, and we went home. I didn't get anything. I didn't really want anything. Hey. <laughs> hey boop. Now she's just gonna sit up there like a vulture and just look down. She never tries to jump down. Every now and then she'll act like she's going to, but she doesn't actually do it. She just she just goes back over here and and comes down. The first time she did it, she was so proud of herself. <laughs> so, ooh, I don't know why it looks so dark now. Whatever. Um, it's so messy in here. I just ugh, I cannot stand all this stuff. I mean, I love it. I love it. It's great. We have a lot of wonderful presents, but I really want to get them wrapped. And you know, I want to hurry up and get them done as soon as possible. Um. So I can get them back so they'll they'll be ready for the parents to come pick up. So they said the sooner you can drop stuff off the better. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do that. Um we'll probably start wrapping stuff pretty soon. I'm not it will be it will definitely be it will definitely be this coming week. We're gonna be doing some serious present wrapping. And if you don't like present wrapping, you might not like this coming week because we could be wrapping a whole lot of presents. A whole lot. Um, okay, so my kids and I decided we were going to go to Golden Corral today. We thought, well, we'll just go there and do their Thanksgiving buffet thing. We had done it in the past many years ago when they were small, um, but I haven't done it in a long time. But we decided we would do it today. 
So I said, you know what? Let's be smart about it. Let's go at three o'clock because then the lunch people will be gone and the dinner people won't be there yet and it won't be that crowded. <laughs> yeah, in theory. Let me tell you what we saw, all right? So we're headed to Golden Corral. We're headed that way. And so we, okay, we're headed that way. We go past McDonald's. McDonald's is packed like I've never seen it before. The, the drive through line was unreal. Every space was full. And I'm like, who are these sad sons of bitches eating at McDonald's on Thanksgiving Day? No offense, but I'm just like, I don't want McDonald's on a regular day, but I think McDonald's just be extra sad on Thanksgiving Day. I just, uh, you know, God, I figured out why there were so many people at McDonald's. We got to Golden Corral, and honey, the parking lot had no spaces to the point that parts of the parking lot that I didn't even know existed were full. Like, there was nowhere to park, and it didn't matter anyway, because there were about a hundred people in line just waiting to get in. Like, it was wrapped around the building. Holy shit, it was like back in the day when you had to wait to get tickets to that big concert that everybody wanted. It looked like that. That was my first thought. Like, it's like they're waiting for concert tickets. Holy shit. There was at least 100 people in line just waiting to get inside. Yeah. We took one look at that and there was nowhere to park. We just left. We just went home. I said, just forget it. This is crazy. We all agreed. Yeah, never mind. So what we did was we came home and I said, all right, change of plans then. We're all going to eat whatever we want to eat. Whatever, you, whatever we have here at the house, because all the stores are closed, whatever you want at the house to eat, you can have it. I don't care what it is. I don't care if you want Takis and baby carrots. You can have it. If you want a pizza, if you, I, whatever you want, we will have it. You can have it or whatever. I had, um, I bought these little pizza rings at Aldi. And it's um, like stuffed crust. It has pepperoni and cheese in it and a little dipping thing of marinara sauce. I had one of those. It was really good. It was really yummy. That was my that was my Thanksgiving meal. My older son had some of that and a, like a regular pizza too. My younger son had popcorn chicken and popcorn and something else. He was going to have baby carrots, but he ended up not having baby carrots. So that's what we had for Thanksgiving. And it was really, really sad. It was really freaking sad. Uh, my neighbor across the street had a bunch of people over. And I said, we, we pulled up in the driveway. I said, you know what we should do? We should just walk in the door like, hey, we made it. I was like, you know damn well. This is an, an older couple that was over there. You're like, you know damn well they got a spread in that house. Yeah, they got so many family members there. They wouldn't notice us. <laughs> Let's go in there and get a plate. Oh, and I did have some cranberry sauce because I did have a jar of a can of cranberry sauce. Like, it is not Thanksgiving if you don't have some cranberry sauce. The kind that's shaped like the can, the ocean spray. I mean, that shit is good. It is so good. That's just something so satisfying about it. It's so yummy. The only time I ever eat it, though, is Thanksgiving. Any other time of the year, it just feels weird to eat it. So we didn't get to go. We may try again either this, we might try again this weekend because we were all like, man, because we were kind of looking forward to it because we haven't been to Golden Corral in forever. The last time I went to Golden Corral was when I went there when my younger son was in Boy Scouts and we were down in South Carolina and he spent a night on the, the ship that's down there in Charleston. Was it the Yorktown? I don't know. But the, the Boy Scouts spent the night there and we had we got down there that morning, or maybe we stayed down there the night before. I think we went down and stayed the night before or something. I don't know. And we had we had breakfast at Golden Corral. I feel like I got a sneeze. We had breakfast at Golden Corral, and that was the last time. So that was like three years ago, maybe. That was the last time I went to Golden Corral. So um, if you ever want to just go get full, I mean, you want to just come waddling out of there, just like get stuffed, that's where you go to do it. It is not healthy. I know that. I'm not going in there looking for health food. I know it's not fresh market. I'm fully aware. You want to go in there and enjoy some good food, though? Mm. You can just go in there and just stuff yourself. It's fantastic. I don't hardly ever do it, but I was kind of looking forward to doing it today. But we're just going to pick another day to go because we're all just like, man, I still want to go. <laughs> we're so we're going to do it. But tomorrow I'm getting back to working out. Don't chew on that. Stop it. 
I swanee, I'm gonna have to go deal with her. Anyway, I wanna finish setting up so I can go ahead and do this video because I'm gonna have to edit it and it's already almost nine o'clock at night. And I got a lot. Tomorrow I have to actually get some shit done. So, uh, I hope you had a good day. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for all the, the wonderful wishes. It didn't quite go the way I wanted it to, but I had a yummy pizza ring and I found that it goes surprisingly well with, uh, cranberry sauce. So not like dipped in it or anything, but eat them together. It's actually not bad. So thank you so much for being here. Boof is trying to dig under a pile of presents. She's mad. I'm gonna have to go deal with her. So thank you so much for being here. Hey, uh, happy Thanksgiving to you or happy Thursday, whichever or both. And uh, <laughs> I will see you again soon. Bye.